So if you saw the video, we had this Wanda Lodge got towed in from Florida. It was almost $5,000 to have it shipped here. Uh, he had bought the bus, driving it home from where he bought it. It was overheating. The water pump was making a screeching noise. So he hired a local mechanic to come out and they rebuilt the water pump, put it back on, and the bus was still overheating. So he was afraid he was gonna mess up the engine. So uh, he limped it uh, over several days just to get it a few miles to get it home. And then he had it shipped here for us to get into it. This is the Ames infrared thermal camera, thermal imaging camera. We're getting ready to open it up and uh, test it out. This is from Harbor Freight. First thing I noticed that was way out of whack here is that this uh, water pump is like glowing red uh, on this display here. Sh the water pump should not be hot like that. It's just circulating cool water. At this point, it's coming from directly from that radiator, which is ice cold. You know, it's been sitting overnight. Um, and then the radiator is not showing anything warm going into it at all, which the thermostats aren't open, but the even the stuff in the oil cooler should be coming up through there as it's bypassing through. So I see no temperature increase whatsoever uh, up there coming into the radiator. That's the exhaust hose there that's, that's lighting up. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're gonna have to get into it here, but it looks like the water pump's the place to start, which just got rebuilt. The tips are starting to get. Mm. There's the problem. It's a brand new rebuild, it looks like, and, and they, they never tighten the nut all the way. Yeah, that's loose on there and nothing. Uh, let me hold, hold the gear just to confirm all the gears not spinning. Yeah, it's, laying, it's huh? on. Okay, <laughs> I'll hold the gear, spin it. Here, hold that still. I'll spin the. So that's why it had just a tiniest bit of water flow. Yep. So we're looking inside the radiator here. And all these tubes are pretty well open. That one's plugged up because it's got coolant. If you plug it at the bottom. But for the most part, everything in there that I'm looking at is at least 95, if not more percent, open and able to flow. That's very clean. There's not a lot of corrosion. There's no reason to pull this radiator and rot it out because there's a little gunk on that one. It's pretty open. So that's not the problem.
Yep. Well, that definitely fixed the problem. We couldn't even idle this thing for more than like 10 minutes. The temperature would get to 200 degrees at just idling or fast idling in, two, in 10 minutes. Uh, we should never do that. So the before, uh, you know, it was very hot on there. And then afterwards, it was much cooler and water was flowing through. So obviously without a water pump working, that would make your engine overheat a lot. Uh, it's unfortunate that they had somebody fix that already, but they didn't really fix it. And they didn't know what the problem was. And then they spent all that money to have it towed here just for a water pump. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 